You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the outstanding competition of the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Endurance Championship, affirming the developed march of the endurance sports in Bahrain under the support of His Majesty the King. His Highness also noted that the championship achieved many goals, which will be a great motivation in continuing the process of growth and development for the Bahraini endurance sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his thanks and appreciation to First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his support to the championship and the endurance races that stress his keenness on constantly contributing in developing this sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also pledged to continuously support the endurance sports to achieve further successes. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Endurance Championship was a great success thanks to the strong and great participation of the John and of the local and private stables who are keen to be present and participate in these races, pointing out the outstanding performance of the winning jockeys. Meanwhile, First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputized President of the Royal Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to crown the winners of the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Endurance Championship. Team victorious rider Isa Al Anizi won first place in the general classification, while Al Asayal Stable rider Khalifa Darwish won the title of the private stables race for a distance of 120 kilometers, which was held in the Bahrain International Endurance Village, organized by the Royal Federation. Salem Yusuf from the Al Fursan team came second, and Asim Janahi from Al Zaim team came third. The champions of the Best Horse Co Condition Award, which is held under the patronage of the captain of the Al Fursan team, Her Highness Sheikh Noura bin Hamad Al Khalifa, were crowned for the National Day Endurance Championship for 120 kilometers and 100 kilometer races. Regarding the private stables, Championship or Al Ahali, the Al Asayl Stables won first place with the jockey Khalifa Khalid Darwish, while Sheikh Sagar bin Khalid Al Khalifa from Ahmed Al Fatah Stables came second, and Ahmed Saleh Al Naimi from Al Asayl Stables was third. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his appreciation for the support of His Majesty the King of the Bahraini International Participation in Camel Sports. His Highness indicated that this support contributed to the achievement of a new record for Bahraini camels in the 6th King Abdul Aziz Camel Festival by the victory of Jebel Dukhan, which came in first place in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that this achievement confirms the distinguished position of the Bahraini camel sport in international participations after it accomplished many achievements in the the past period, stressing that the victory will be an incentive for the upcoming participations. His Highness explained that the victory of Jabal al-Dukhan, despite the strong and exciting competition, confirms the success of Bahraini camels, wishing that these achievements will continue and participations abroad. 
Under the patronage of the chairman of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized yesterday afternoon the 13th race of this season. The race was held for the Cup of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Cup of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Cups of the Sons of His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Al Adiyat Racing Stable Club. The event was held at the club's racetrack in the Rafah area in Sakhir and in the presence of a number of their highnesses and an audience of horse racing enthusiasts. On behalf of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Vice President of the General Sports Authority, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa crowned the winners of the race cups, where he presented the first and second round cups to Abdullah Fauzi Nas, then presented the third round cup to the winner Jabir Ramadan. His Highness presented the fourth round cup to the winner Alan Smith and the fifth round cup to the winning owner Colbert Sowey. His Highness also presented the seventh round cup to Sheikh Ali bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Then he presented the eighth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. While the representatives of Al Salam Bank, the official sponsor of the international round, Ali Habib Qasim and Ahmed Saif, presented the fourth international cup to the winning owner, Hassan Mufrah Al Ajmi, and presented two prizes to Hisham Al Haddad and David Egan, winners of first place in this round.
Out of the keenness of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the National Revenue Authority on the proper application of the value added in all its technical, organizational and procedural aspects in a manner that mainly ensures the interest of consumers, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in cooperation with the agency of the National Revenue Authority inspected 75 shops and commercial establishments in a number of vital commercial areas. Inspection campaigns were carried out to see the mechanism of proper application of the modified basic value added in all commercial establishments and to raise awareness of the mechanisms to be followed during this stage. During the inspection campaign, 66 violations were detected requiring administrative fines of up to 10,000 Bahraini dinars according to the value added law. In addition to monitoring some cases that may be considered cases of non-compliance with well, the application of value added according to the value added law which necessitated the closure of two precautionary stores and accordingly the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism and the National Revenue Authority are in the process of taking legal measures against the violating facilities and referring those who are proven to have committed one crime of value added evasion to the competent authorities to initiate a criminal case against them. The Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism and the National Revenue Authority called on establishments to adhere to implementation of the mechanisms of the transitional phase of value added and to deal efficiently and consciously in order to achieve the proper application of value added. For its part, the National Revenue Authority it stressed the importance of concerted efforts of all concerned parties to make the various stages of implementation successful, calling on consumers and all citizens and residents to submit complaints when noticing any violations or abuses of the value-added law or the application of value-added at its modified basic rate through the official communication channels of the agency. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,206,256 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,181,778 had taken the second and 876,709 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 8,969 with 351 recoveries, 1,515 registered new cases and two deaths. There are 23 active cases receiving treatment and no patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,397 total deaths while 279,088 have recovered from the virus. The ministry expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.